Let your name be glorified. Jesus, you are my Lord. Let your name be glorified. I give you glory. I give you glory. Praise the Lord. Welcome to UK World Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. I am excited to come wherever you are now. In the realm of the Spirit, we don't have a distance. What connects us is your faith. Faith in God. Faith in His Word. Faith in His promises. When your faith is released, the power of God is made manifest. All you need is to believe. Believe in the Word of God and the promises of God. Through Christ Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, I pray for you right now. May God give you a hearing ear to hear. And may God give you understanding of the word of God. May God help you now to receive the faith of God so that your miracle signs and wonder can be part of your portion. Father, thank you for those that are listening to me, those that are hearing the sound of my voice, wherever they are, watching us on television, watching us on YouTube, watching us on Facebook, wherever they are. Father, let the glory of your word manifest in their life. Let your power be revealed in their life. Father, touch them. Help them to receive. Help them to understand. Help them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, anoint me and use me. Let the sound of my voice carry your word to the heart of the souls of men. Those that are watching, those that are listening, those that want to receive, oh God, use me as an instrument in your hands. For I ask you now, in Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen. Amen. I'm going to bring a song so that we worship together, and then we bring the word of God. As we proceed, God will give me a prophetic unction to speak into your life and to pray for you. Believe. Believe. And God will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I need no other God like you. You have done. You have done. I need no other God for you, for you have done, you, you have, have done, done what no man has done, and you will do, and you will do, will do what no man has done. Amen. 
Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. Wherever you are, we are in the atmosphere and the arena of miracles, signs, and wonders. Anything can happen right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. I want to encourage you, whatever you are going through right now, whatever you are passing through right now, there is the Word of God that has power to take care of it. You need to look at the Word of God and declare it. The Bible says he sent forth his word, and his word healed them. The word of God. The Bible declares that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Through the word, all things are made, were made. Without the word, nothing was made that was made. And then the word became flesh and walked among us. Jesus Christ is the word of God. Jesus Christ is the sign of God is the plan of God is the purpose of God Jesus Christ is the answer to every situation that will confront you and I I know we are going through difficult situations I know we are passing through challenges that we have never seen before but I want to let you know number one God is on the throne Nothing happens to him by accident. He knows the end right from the beginning. Therefore, whatever is happening now is not an accident to God. And since it's not an accident, it means he has a provision for us that believe in his name. We have hope. We have confidence that the God we serve, he will not leave us. He will not forsake us. He will be with us always. So I have confidence. I don't know about you. Don't allow your confidence to be shaken. Don't allow your faith to be shaken. Have absolute confidence in God. Have complete trust in God. That what God has promised you will do for you, He will do it. 
He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. He will be with you always. When you pass through the valley of the shadow of death, God said, I am right there with you. If you pass through the shadow of death, if you come to that place where you see the shadow of death around you, God is still there with you and he has the power. He will make a way of escape for you. He will protect you. He will heal you. He will deliver you if you put your trust and your confidence in him. This is just a beginning of the things that are yet to come. The Bible said that those that endure till the end, they shall be saved. Those that endure till the end, they shall be saved. One of the things the enemy is attacking you right now, attacking the church, attacking the body of Christ, attacking the whole world, is one to instill fear in you so that then the other things that the enemy will bring, you will bow down and accept them so that you may live. Fear is a torment. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but he's given you the spirit of love, power, and sound mind. God has not given us the spirit of fear. God has not given us fear. Say, refuse to be afraid. Refuse to fear. Your life is hid in Christ Jesus. Our life is hid in Christ Jesus. We are a purchased possession. We belong to God. He has purchased us with his blood. Jesus has bought us. We are a property belonging to God. And God has said, touch not my anointed and do my servants no harm. God has reproved the powers and said to them not to touch you. You are protected. You are shielded. There is a hedge around you. The hedge of the blood of Jesus. So wherever you are, reject fear. Fear is not part of the property of God. Fear is the enemy's weapon to disbalance a person so that person can lose their faith and become a yo-yo. They can be dragged around. In the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus said, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The thief, the thief, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The thief, Satan, Lucifer, and all his cohorts, they have come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Death is a weapon of the enemy. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. You must reject whatever the enemy throws on you because Jesus said, I have come that I may give you life and I may give it to you abundantly. First epistle of John chapter 3 verse 8. For this reason, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy all the works of the enemy. Jesus rose from the dead and said unto you, All power is given to me in heaven and on earth. Jesus has all power. Power to heal, power to deliver, power to set free, power to provide, power to cover, power to protect. Jesus has all the power in heaven and on earth. And Jesus said, Call upon me in the days of trouble and I will answer you. One of the things the enemy is throwing a lot of us is to lose focus. Don't lose focus. Look at him, Jesus. Look at him crucified. Look at him resurrected. Look at him sitting on the right hand of the Father. Open your heart and receive him. Look at Jesus. Let the light of his word come into your heart. Hear the word of God and receive faith to stand. The Bible says, and the just shall live by his faith. Your faith is needed. Your faith is required. Your faith is your defense. Your faith is your protection. Your faith in God. Jesus spoke to us in the book of Luke chapter 18. He said that when I come, will I find faith? When I come, so as we march towards the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we progress to his coming, faith is going to be very scarce. People will not have faith towards God. Fear will capture the heart of men. But those that know their God, those that know their God, those that know their God, they will be strong and they will do great exploit. 
wherever you are, I am encouraging you. Rise up and begin to capture the word of God and the essence of the word of God. Begin to see the promises of God for your life on a daily basis. All along, the enemy have made us to lose focus of God and we focus on the things of this world. We focus on our finance, money. We focus on our marriage, wife, children. We focus on our car. We focus on our house. Look all those things now. Everybody's running for their own life. Those that know their God, they shall be strong. Those that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do great exploit. God wants you to do great exploit. God wants you to be the sign of the time and the season of the time. God wants you to know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that will rise up against you in judgment is condemned. In the book of Isaiah chapter 60. This is what God has already told you and I. That these things will come to pass. These things will happen. And nothing will change them. What we are passing through now is not an accident. They are all in prophecy. The enemy is working very hard. The Antichrist is working very hard so that he may be revealed. He is looking for your authority. He is looking for your submission. But now watch this. In the book of Isaiah chapter 6, he said, Arise and shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Arise and shine. This is the time for you to shine. This is the time for you to allow God to manifest his glory through you. This is the time for you to allow the glory of God to be seen in your life. This is the time for God to... To manifest his glory through you for others to see and to receive. Arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. Are you hearing it? That what is happening now is not an accident. God have already told you that darkness will cover the earth. Great darkness the people. Carabo send the hair. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. I pray for you that the glory of the Almighty God will cover your life. The glory of the Almighty God will cover your family. The glory of the Almighty God will cover your children, cover you in the area of finance, cover you in provision and protection. Let the glory cover your household. Let the glory make a difference in your life. Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. All over the earth right now, people are in trouble. People are shaking. The things we rejoice for before, we can no longer rejoice for them now. You can't rejoice for your car because it's parked in your house, not moving. You can't rejoice for anything earthly because it is not going to change the situation. We need the help of God. So God said to you, these things will happen. Darkness will cover the earth. Great darkness, the people. But God spoke to me recently because I had the privilege to pray for some people in deep trouble. People that the enemy have attacked in serious way. I'm going to pray for them. I didn't have the word to pray. Only I shouted, Oh Lord God, you have a covenant with us. Oh Lord, you do have a covenant with us. And that covenant is ratified by the blood of Jesus. You have a covenant of life with us. Therefore, I rebuke the spirit of death. I command it to take its hands off your life, off your family, off your children, off your brothers and sisters. I rebuke and break the yoke of death over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kabaros and I. As for me, saith the Lord, this is my covenant with them. My spirit 
who is upon you, and my words which I have put in your mouth shall not depart from you, from, shall not depart from your mouth, nor from the mouth of your descendants, nor from the mouth of your descendants, descendants, say the Lord, from this time and forever. You have the word of God in your heart, and that word can come out of your mouth. The word of God is in your heart. For with the heart, one believes unto salvation. For with the heart, the word of God in your heart has power to explode when you declare it out of your mouth. For with the heart, one believes unto salvation. What you believe can help you in your journey of faith. If you believe in the word of God, if you put your trust and confidence in the word of God, it will catapult you to where you are going. I want you to declare with me, I will reach my destination. I will not be stopped. I will not die before my time. I am healed and delivered by the power of the name of Jesus and the revealed word of God. I cover my mind with the blood of Jesus. I cover my spirit, soul, and body with the blood of Jesus. Speak those things out. For as a man speaketh, so is he. When you declare the promise of God, when you declare the word of God, the glory of God will rise from within you and cover your life and give you the answer that you need. I break every yoke of sin and death over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy the power of the enemy attacking your mind in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of fear. I bind the spirit of fear. I break the yoke of fear over your mind, over your heart, over your soul, over your body. I break the yoke of fear. I lose you and declare you set free. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release the angels of your miracle. I release the miracle you need. I release the healing you need. I release the deliverance you need. I release the provision you need. You will not die, but live to proclaim the works of God. Father, glorify your name in the life of your people. Glorify your name in those that believe in the name of Jesus. Glorify your name all over the earth. Glorify your name, O oh God. I cover the planet earth with the blood of Jesus. East, west, north, and south. Father, I declare and decree, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Reveal your glory. Reveal your plan and purpose to your church. Quicken your ministers. Quicken your pastors. Quicken your reverend ministers. Quicken the bishops, O oh God. Anoint them with a fresh oil that they may stand and not fail. That they may stand and do your will and your purpose in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for those in leadership all over the world. I break the yoke of fear over their heart, spirit, soul, and body. Father, I pray that the fear of you will come upon them. That they will do and hear your voice to do what is right. My God, Maroskata, Roske Debe, Babronia Maria da Gadoskele Mende Shalada, Roseli Badaka Mahando Kopocheteria, Zulamande Kapahaya. I break the yoke of darkness over the planet Earth. I destroy the yoke of darkness over the planet Earth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, expose those workers of iniquity. There are workers of iniquity, there are workers of darkness. The enemy is using right now. Lord, arrest them, expose them, distress them, put them in derision, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And those that stand by righteousness, those that stand in your will, Father, let your power come upon them. Let your might come upon them. Let your help come upon them. Raise them up, O oh God, that you may use them. Karabo Sandele Boshaya. That you may use them, Almighty God. All over the world, the leaders, raise them up, O oh God. People that will fear you, people that will speak with your voice, and people that will walk in your will. Reveal your will, O oh God. Reveal your plan, O oh God. And strengthen your ministers. Strengthen your leaderships. Strengthen those that govern. Strengthen them, O oh God, to do your will, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. 
all those that are walking against the will of God, Father, distress them. Put them in derision. Arrest them. Put them in derision. Expose them. Bring them to public shame. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, glorify your name. Jehovah God, glorify your name. Strengthen us, the church. Strengthen us, the leadership of your church, O oh God. Strengthen your church, O oh God. Strengthen your church, O oh God. Strengthen your ministers, O oh God. Protect your ministers, O oh God. Baruna salida carabo sende lebo. Sakataraba shanto kopuria labra. Sule bedeke maraba 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 maraba. Rusakata la mandeke terebo shakata rabadaya. Sakota la boda kataraba da kata koko koko koko. Let them be scattered that have gathered against the will of God. Let them be scattered that have opposed the will of God. Let them be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, let your glory be made manifest. Let your glory be seen. Let your glory be made manifest. Let your glory be seen. Father, let your glory be made manifest. Let your glory be seen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we give you praise. My God, we give you glory. My Father, we give you glory. Jehovah God, we give you glory. Ancient of days, we give you glory. Father, we praise and adore you. Wherever you are, join me. Worship God. Lift your hands. Praise God. Give him glory. Give him honor. Father, we bless your name. We honor you. We worship you. Jehovah is your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 We sprinkle the blood of Jesus. 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 If you have not given your life to Jesus, call upon his name. The Bible says, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. You need salvation. You need Jesus. You cannot deny the fact that you know what is happening. That the things that Jesus spoke that are going to happen, they will surely happen. Jesus died on the cross for the forgiveness of all your sins. Put your life in order. Audit your house. Jesus is coming. Jesus, the son of the living God, is coming as he has promised. The time and the seasons are revealing that yea, he is coming. May God bless you. May God help you to understand that you need Jesus. May God help you to know that you need salvation. There is no other name given upon a man can be saved except the name of Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father except through him. Jesus is the Savior. He is the Messiah. He is the soon coming King. Karamando Shatahaya. Libro Hokopodia Masanda. Hakabashanda. We are going to take a short break and I will come back to you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. We we'll take a short break. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to UK World Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. 
I am excited wherever you are, wherever you are. The word of God is coming to you. If you want me to pray for you, you can call me right now. The telephone line is open. You can call me. I will pray with you and I will pray for you. Why? The Bible says, if any one of us is sick, let him call the elders of the church and let them pray over him. For the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous, a valet high. So God has given me grace to pray for you. The Bible also declares that whatsoever two or three shall agree as touching unto heaven, it shall be established for them. So whatever we agree through prayer, God will honor and answer. And Jesus said that if you ask anything in my name, when we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, there's an answer from heaven. So I want to pray with you. I want to agree with you. Whatever it is that you are going through, the telephone line is open. You can call and let us agree together. God bless you. God bless you, caller. How are you? Hello, caller. Hello. Yes. Can you please speak through your phone? Don't listen to the television. Listen through your phone. Yeah. Yes. What do you want God to do for you? Yes, I just mean the seal of God. I want you to pray for me for God to be merciful for me in all my ways. You want God to bless you? Yeah, to be merciful unto me in all my way. To be merciful unto you in all your ways. Yes, sir. Praise God. Have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Okay, stretch your hands and let us pray. Repeat after me, say, Heavenly Father. Say after me, say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You have to speak aloud. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life to you. And I put my trust in you. And I put my trust in you. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Wash me and cleanse me. Wash me and cleanse me. Lord. From every unrighteousness. From every unrighteousness. And bless my life for your glory. And bless my life for your glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray for you now. Heavenly Father, I pray for your daughter. I pray. Cover your life with the blood of Jesus. I cover your family with the blood of Jesus. I destroy every work of darkness against you in the name of Jesus. I release God's blessing to come upon you in a new way. I release God's glory to cover you in a new way. Receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I rebuke every voice speaking against you. I cancel every assignment of the enemy against you. I disconnect you right now from poverty and lack. And I release God's blessing over your life. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Take it! Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, you want me to pray for you. You want me to agree with you. I want you to pick your phone and call. And then I will pray for you. Why? God sent me. God made way for me to come. You are not seeing me by accident. You are not hearing me by accident. Wherever you are, this is your moment. This is your time. The Bible says, and the just shall live by his faith. The just. The just shall live by his faith. So faith is a necessity even at this time. Faith in God, faith in his word, faith in his promises. The book of Hebrew, chapter 13. Grand Oskerima Doroshene. Yes, caller. Go. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, I'm coming to you. Please, I want you to pray for me for the enemy of my life to leave me alone. For the enemy of your life to leave you alone. Mm. Is the enemy attacking your life? They have been surrounding you. They have been disturbing you. They have been disturbing you. 
All right. Are you are you willing to be free now? Mm-hmm. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you. And I put my trust in you. I put my trust in you. Now you need to listen to your telephone. Don't listen on the television. Listen to your tele- uh, telephone. Are you there? Say, Lord Jesus, I put my trust in you. Have mercy on me. Heavenly Father, forgive me in any way I have sinned against you and deliver me from the works of darkness. Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And I put my trust in you. Deliver me, O Lord, from the hands of Satan, that I may serve you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now I'm going to pray for you. Are you ready? I want you to pray this now powerfully. Pray this prayer powerfully with me. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I destroy every walk of darkness. Every power of darkness. Every power of witchcraft. Every power of marine spirits. Attacking my life. I destroy them now. And I lose myself. In the name of Jesus. I claim my freedom right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Heavenly Father. I give you praise. I give you glory. I worship you Lord. I honor you Lord. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you, my sister. God bless you. It is well with you. Praise God Almighty. So, the Lord spoke to me in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 8. He said, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. Yes, caller. Hello, caller. Hello. 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 Yes. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. We are thankful. What do you want God to do for you? I want God to intervene and um, and give me my papers in this land because I've been here for a long time. How long? I've been struggling. Uh, July this year will make it uh, 19 years. That's a crime. So, no, I did not commit no crime. No, 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 no. I'm saying, no. You, I didn't say you commit a crime, but it's a crime against you. Oh. You're a child of God, isn't it? I am, yes. Praise God. No, no one is allowed to deny you. Mm. Say after me, say, the earth is the Lord. The earth is the Lord. And the fullness thereof. And the fullness, uh, Say wherever the soul of my feet shall step upon. Wherever the soul of my feet shall step upon. There the Lord has given unto me. There the Lord has given unto me. As an inheritance. As an inheritance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. command my papers now to be released. I command my papers now to be released. Every power holding it. Every power holding it. I destroy it now. I destroy it now. Every assignment of wickedness. Every assignment of wickedness. Against my life. Against my life. I destroy it now. I destroy it now. Every cause. Every cause. Operating in my life. Operating in my life. I destroy it now. 
I destroy it now. I command the doors that are closed against me to open. I command the doors that are closed to open. Every door closed against me. Every door closed against me. I command them to open now. I command them to open now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command my paper release now. I command my paper release now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father. Father. I release angels right now. I release angels right now. To move on my behalf. To move on my behalf. Let my file be approved. Let my file be approved. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Do you want to say anything now? Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank God. You. I pray and agree with you. As you have declared Amen. out of your mouth, I command as a servant of God, it shall be done so to Amen. you in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you have prayed this moment in time, I decree that heaven will answer you and honor you in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. I release Amen. angels now to cause this Amen. prayer to be answered Amen. with great speed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I demand that in the next 21 days from today, Hallelujah. Let this lady sing a new song. Amen. Let her bring a testimony for your glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I demand within 21 days from today, Amen. you will sing a new song. Hallelujah. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Again. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, pick your phone and call. If there is anything you want us to pray for, I will pray for you. The Lord spoke to me in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 8. He said, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Kopodia Mashanda Haya. Shakara Mando Robo Bohoya. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He is the same yesterday, he is the same today, and he is the same forever. Jesus came to the pool of Bethesda, and the Bible says that there was a man there who had been there for 38 years. And Jesus said to him, will that be made whole? The man said, I have no man. When the water is stirred up, others will jump in, but me, nobody to help me. I am motivated by that statement. I have no man. And that's why I opened the telephone so that I can pray for you, so that you don't say, I have no man to help me. I have no man to encourage me. I have no man to pray for me. I have no man to agree with me. When I heard that statement from that man, he has been there for 38 years. My sister has been there for 19 years. I decree and declare that your 19 years will be turned into 21 days. You will sing a new song to the glory of the Almighty God. God will give you the breakthrough and your paper will be released and the enemy will be put to shame. Because you believe in the voice of the servant of God and you make that call. May the God I serve honor you, honor your faith, honor your belief, wherever you are. You believe that I am sent by God. You believe that I'm standing for Jesus and in his name. Pick your phone and call. For whatever two or three shall agree as touching unto heaven, it shall be established for them. I want God to bless you. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I don't know the load that you're carrying. I don't know what the enemy have used to torment your life. I don't know the plan the enemy have set up to hold you in a cage. But I've come to declare to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, there is freedom. Jesus has given me power and authority. Whatever I bind here on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever I lose here on earth is also losing heaven. I have confidence in the name of Jesus. I have confidence in the blood of Jesus. I have confidence in the word of the living God. Jesus said that my word shall not return back to me. It shall accomplish that for which I have sent them for. Every word of the Lord will be accomplished. So whatever you are going through, 
right now. Jesus also spoke to me in the book of Luke chapter 10. He says that all power and authority is given to me. I give you power. I give you authority over all the works of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Jesus gave you that promise. All it takes now is your faith. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Faith without action is dead. Faith without works is dead. When you pick your phone, that's your works. It means you believe and you are working it out. But if you just believe but do nothing about it, it's only one side of faith. It will produce no result. Faith without works is dead. So if you want to call for prayers, call. Praise God. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, As for me, saith the Lord, this is my covenant with them, my spirit who is upon you, and my words which I have put in your mouth shall not depart from your mouth, nor from the mouth of your descendants, nor from the mouth of your descendants' descendants, says the Lord, from this time and forevermore. So we have a covenant with God in his word. We have a covenant with God by his spirit. We have a covenant for miracles, signs, and wonder. Then he said, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. Right now it is there. Everyone is experiencing it. Everybody is seeing it. We are seeing the fear the enemy has brought. We have seen the torment of the spirit of death. We have seen what is happening. You can't deny it. The Lord said, for darkness shall cover the earth. And deep darkness, the people. Yes, caller, how are you? Hello? Hello? Yes. I, I, I would like to talk to Bishop, uh, Bishop, Bishop Sam Simon. You are talking to him now. Please, I want you to pray for me, sir. What do you want me to pray for? Healing, healing, healing. Healing in your body? Healing, yes, healing. Stre and, and deliverance. Stretch your hands to me and say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. I claim my healing now. I claim my healing now. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. And I am asking you. And I'm asking you to heal my body. To heal my body. From sickness and disease. From sickness and disease. And to deliver me. And to deliver me. From the yoke of the enemy. From the yoke of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cover my mind with the blood of Jesus. I cover my mind with the blood of Jesus. I cover my soul with the blood of Jesus. I cover my soul with the blood of Jesus. I cover my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. Satan, I rebuke you now. Satan, I rebuke you now. Take your hands off my body. Take off your hand off my body. Lose your hold over my body. Take up your hand over my body. Get out right now. Get out now. Get out right now. Get out now. Out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. In out in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke now. I destroy the power holding you. I break the yoke of sickness. I destroy the power of the enemy. I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be set free. Be healed. Be set free. Be healed. Be set free. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I, I demand your freedom right now. I, I command your freedom right now. I, I break every chain holding your life. I break the I chain of the enemy, the Amen. chain of sickness, Amen. the chain of uh, issues of life. Amen. I break those chains and I lose you now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now open your mouth and give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. 
We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you praise, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As, you, as I go off the phone, can you lift your two hands and begin to praise God? Because I see the power of God is upon you. You can Thank feel you. the heat on your Thank body. You. That heat is the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Just lift your hand and begin to praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Wherever you are, I want to agree with you. I want to pray for you. Because God gave me the privilege. He sent me. I did not send myself. Kopodiam Asanda higher. Faith without works is dead. If you believe in what God can do, then you throw yourself into it. Kabahasaya. Jesus said to the man, Will that be made whole? The man said, I have nobody. I have no one to pray for me. I have no one to agree with me. I have no one. Now you have somebody. Pick your phone. Call me, and then we pray and agree together. The Bible says, Whatsoever two or three shall agree, it shall be established for them. For this purpose, the Lord has sent me, that I may be an encouragement to you, a help to you, a strength to you, that I may declare the truth about God's word. God spoke to Joshua. He said that, Be bold, be strong, and be very courageous. I am saying the same to you. Whatever is happening around you now, be bold, be very strong, and be very courageous. Put your trust in the Lord. Receive the word of God. The writer said, receive the engrafted word of God, which is able to save your soul. Receive the word of God. It has the power to save your soul. Open your heart to Jesus. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Ask for forgiveness of your sin. Ask God to renew your life. Ask God to strengthen your life. And then begin to learn. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye who labor and are of heavy laden. Take my yoke. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And I will give you rest. Jesus wants to give you rest. Jesus wants to help you. Whatever situation it is, Jesus died for you on the cross of Calvary. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement that makes for our peace was laid upon him. By whose stripes we, we are healed. The Bible says that he himself carried all our infirmities. By whose stripes we, we are healed. The Bible declares that healing is a bread for the children. Healing is a bread for the children. Healing is a bread. All you need is to take it and eat it. It's been paid for. Jesus paid for it. And some of you that are going through confusion, I rebuke that spirit of confusion over your mind. Some of you are in distress. You don't even know how to put things together. I break that yoke of distress over your life and I command the peace of God to come to you. Receive peace. Those of you that are under stress, I destroy the yoke of stress. I release peace and the comfort of God through the scriptures. He sent forth his word and his word healed them. I am sending the word of God to you now. I rebuke stress, confusion. I release the peace of God to come to you. I release the comfort of God to come to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wherever you are, you want to call, call so that we can pray. But if you don't want to call, lift your hand and worship God. I want to pray for those who have not given their life to Jesus, wherever you are. You are saying to me, man of God, I have not received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Pray for me. If you are that person, I'm praying for you right now. I want you to pray this prayer out of your mouth right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you and I put my trust in you. Heavenly Father, I come before you and I ask you for mercy and forgiveness. In any way I have sinned against you, Lord, have mercy on me and forgive me. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I confess with my mouth, he was born of the Virgin Mary. He was crucified on the cross of Calvary. He was buried and he rose again. I confess this with my mouth and I believe it with my heart. I am saved. I am delivered. I am set free. 
Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you for delivering me from the power of sin and death. Thank you for writing my name in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you, Lord. I will serve you all the way. Holy Spirit, I welcome you now. Fill my heart with the joy and the peace of God. Help me to understand the scriptures as the Lord has given them to me. In Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are, you are believing God for a miracle. Stretch your hands to me right now. Father, I pray for every man, every woman, every child, every family that is watching this program, wherever they are. I release the power of the blood of Jesus to cover their lives and family. And I break the yoke of fear, the torment of the enemy. I break it over their life. I break it over their family. I lose them. And I demand their freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, I release your power to touch them. I release your healing power to touch them. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Wherever you are, I encourage you to follow the guidelines that the, that the government has given to us. Stay safe. Stay at home. Honor the instructions. Follow your doctor's instruction. Follow the counsel that you are given. And pray. And trust God. He is gracious and merciful. His word is settled forever and ever in heaven. And his word cannot return back to him void. If you believe in his word, that word will work for you. Trust God. But walk in obedience in the affairs of life. Father, thank you for this moment in time. Thank you for the privilege to share your word. Thank you for those that have heard it and those who believed. Father, touch them in every area of their life. Touch them, O oh God, in every area of their need. Help them wherever they cry unto you. Encourage them, Lord. I pray also for those that help us at the NHS, that God will strengthen them. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Jehovah Yahweh, let your name be glorified.